Oh, did you get that on video? Barely. Hi there, welcome back to Geek & Son. Today we're going to be fixing the clutch on my Honda Goldwing 1800. If you watched the last video, we got the tire on, but then the clutch didn't work. And it worked great when I parked it last fall, so I'm not sure why. But thanks to your comments, I got the idea that maybe the fluid needed to be changed. So I'm going to give that a shot, and hopefully the clutch will work fine, and then we'll go for a spin. I'll get that all on here today on Geek & Son. So I'm going to take this off right here this little cap and I got to take the front of this off here which is not going to be very fun so I've got to get to the bleeder valve screw for the clutch from what I understand it's under that yeah that doesn't look like a lot of fun so I'm gonna open that up find the clutch bleeder valve I'm gonna need a wrench which I didn't bring we'll have to go get and we'll bleed it just like you bleed brakes on a car and then the clutch will work fine, and we'll go for a ride. All right, here we go. I know from past experience, you don't want to mix these screws up, because they, they kind of look all the same, but they have different depths, and they're meant to be in specific places. So try to remember where you put them. If you don't, it's not the end of the world, but it's better if they're where they came from. And I'm sure I've got some screwdriver attachment that I would love to go and find and stick on here, which maybe I will. By the time I go get in my toolbox and find it, I could have been done. So I'm just gonna do it with an Allen wrench. Can you see me over here? Just taking out some more Allen bolts over here. Came out a little too easily. Six, six little bolts. That was pretty easy. So here we are at the front of the bike. If you can see, this is the canister that I need to move out of the way. And then, according to what I've found, the clutch bleeder valve is right behind that. And that will let me have access to it. And then you just bleed it like you would anything else. So again, it's behind this thing canister so we'll get to that in a second all right so I'm gonna take this little wrench here and try the ten and eight looks like it could be a ten You just want to take off this bolt and this bolt. I don't know if you can even see that. I'll put a, I'll put an arrow there in the video. You don't have to take them out all the way. You just need to loosen them, and then you can kind of pull. You can pull this down, and then the bleeder rails back there. It's a really bad position, honestly, to get to. Let's see. I'll move the tire a little bit here. Give us some more access. just love these kind of wrenches with the ratchets in them. Gotta say, those are awesome. And of course there's no torque on it now, so you get it loose and then... I 
I looked online and you really can't find anyone showing you how to do this. Now, should you really listen to me? Probably not. This is just for fun. I'm trying to do the best I can, but I'm not a Honda mechanic. So, do this at your own risk, as they say. All right, here's the brake fluid reservoir. It's the clutch fluid, you know what I meant. Take a screwdriver, take this out, pretty easy. Don't lose these screws or you'll wish you were, you wouldn't. Okay, easy. Now, do not, I repeat, do not spill this on your paint. If you do, then you're stupid. Let me get an extra paper towel even. The fancy shop towels that you can't even open because they rip each other. lift this lid off gently and you can see it says dot four any good dot four will work new dot four now look you've got this this plastic one right here it's flat side up it looks like here pick that up not the black part yet give it a little clean see very nice. Big thing you don't want in here is moisture. Don't drip it on your paint. I'm cleaning this black piece, black because it had some crud in it, some moisture. It is a 2002 bike. I thought it was 2006. I don't know. Anyway, you want to clean all the moisture out of here. Because this fluid attracts moisture. You know, and it's hard to compress water. So I'm gonna clean that up nice and tidy. If it's dry, buy a new one. No questions. If it's all dried out and gross, which it probably is not, but if it is, buy a new one. We're being cheap. Okay? Then you get this little one here. I want to get this little floating one out of here. Again, don't get this on your paint. I've warned you a million to five times. Whew. Clean it off nice. Keep it away from other junk. Don't break it. Don't bend it. Okay. Now take a look at this is the brake fluid. You don't want it to get too low but get it out of there. And what I'm gonna do is put it all in this old Coke bottle. So, I'll give you a little update here. Um, it's been a pain and a half. Make sure you have the right tools. I would buy that uh, mini bleeder thing because this way is, it sucks. And I'm doing it with a tubing that I got that doesn't really quite fit, so I'm spilling it all over. And I'm sure I've gotten air in the system that I wouldn't have, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And got plenty of towels on it, so I'm not spilling. But here's the reservoir. Just a little bit more, and I think that'll be clear. I'm gonna just keep pumping it through to get it clear. So I'm gonna put some more fluid in here. Today I've chosen to use the Valvoline Synthetic Don't Four Brake Fluid. We're not sponsored by them, but that would be cool, wouldn't it? Do not get it on your paint, or you'll wish you didn't. Just a little bit. Top it off. We've got the cylinder all filled up, and I'm gonna put it all back together. First we need this little flat piece right here. Blow everything. Make sure it's clean, plop that back in. Then, this black plastic one that you should have cleaned thoroughly. Yeah. Not too 
cool, I hope. Okay. Then this one, flat side up. No. And of course the cat. I should have taken these gloves out first. Because transfer that brake fluid. Rub the paint off that. So the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. Put the this thing back on. Put the canister back up. Put that thing back on. Hopefully you you know tightened, loosened, tightened, loosened, did the clutch right. It's just like brakes. It's not too hard. Okay? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Why do you guys keep forgetting to subscribe? Come on. You can do it. Click. Thank you. Bye. You ever have one of those days? Went through all the bleeding of the clutch, didn't do any good. And I can hear a swooshing sound. So there's no clutch. So I'm guessing slave cylinder. I don't know enough about these for sure. So now I'm going to go look up slave cylinder and see it. I don't want to change that. That sucks. Uh... Hello? Uh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute.